Hi and welcome to Khan's Care Academy with another tutorial. So previously we studied about polygons and ellipse. Now we will move further and we will today study about ellipse and previously discussed spline and polygon. Okay. Now we will start ellipse. So In order to begin with the command, click on the ellipse. Now it will, it will ask for a plane to select. So you select a proper plane you want. Okay. And now, whenever you start drawing an ellipse, it will require it will ask for two dimensions. Okay. If you are drawing or a simple ellipse, so it will ask for two dimension. That is its radius or its dimension in the x direction and in the y direction okay these two dimensions. let's give it let's give it both of the dimensions okay you can see these both dimensions as we we can change these from here let's change them and see what happens but first let me make the view perpendicular to the plane. I guess it's good now. Okay. Now we take the smart dimension and just you know, to show you what is the effect of changing the dimension. Yeah. You can change this dimension from here and also you can change them from here. Okay, let's let's just get started and change these dimensions as is 0 0.05 let, let me give it 0 0.08 now it's not taking the dimension the reason is because we have also already given it in the smart dimension so it will be only change here but let's delete it from here and change it inside the menu okay 0 0.08 look this is the, the 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 dimension of the ellipse in the y axis okay now this is in the x x direction let's change this you can see clearly the change in these dimension so by controlling these two parameters that is the the, the, the dimension in the x is x axis and the dimension in the y axis you can change the size of an ellipse now let's come let, uh, let's come to these two parameters these two parameters basically control the distance from the origin okay this is the origin and this these both parameters control the distance on the x axis and the y axis they control the distance from the x from the or from the origin to the center of the ellipse okay let's let's change this let's let's do it zero when we do it zero it will come to the origin if you want an ellipse on origin you can give them zero or if you want it as a distance specified by the x distance on the x axis and on the distance on the y axis you can change these parameters now let's come to the smart dimension in this you can also change the change this dimension using the smart dimension tools okay like this you want to change the distance in the x axis you can change it like this so this is a thing now let's just move this ellipse here okay click ok now we will try changing the other parameters okay let's change this distance to point 2 you can see the distance is changing now you can sorry now we change the distance from the y axis that is from here. you can change it like this like this okay so these are the features of a simple ellipse now let's move further and go into the other commands of the ellipse that is the partial ellipse now we want if you don't want a full ellipse you want a partial ellipse so you can use this command now when you click it will ask and you have to specify the same things 
that is the direction in the x-axis, the direction in the y-axis. And now, how much you want it? Okay, how much half of the ellipse? You want half? You want you want quarter? How much you want it? Okay, you you can specify it here. Now click, and that's it. Now we got some of the, the other parameters here now. Okay, the same parameters, but they are being described here, and you can change the values of these parameters here directly. So, the first two parameters denotes the distance from the origin. That is the x-axis and the y-axis okay let's change these Let, let's give it up to 0.2 as I change the x value it comes nearer to the origin by the distance along the x-axis now let's change the y-axis distance you can see it's moving upward in the y direction so by changing these parameters you can change these distances now let's come to these points that is the, the x start x coordinate okay now let's change the distance and let's see what happens. Look, a as we increase this distance, the ellipse is changing, and this distance is basically from the origin. This x denotes the distance. This parameter gives us the value of the distance from this point to the origin. Okay, and this parameter gives us a distance from origin to the y coordinate. Okay, now let's see this one. Okay, the same point, distance from x axis and y axis. Now, the upper point, this point, a distance from the origin in the y and the x direction. Let's change this value. Okay look distance from the x-axis is changing okay now distance from y-axis is changing so this is how you control these all parameters okay and let's let and now this one this is the dimension radial dimension in the x-axis okay so it's in y and this this one is in the x axis okay so you can clearly see this distance is from the origin okay you can see this now let's verify the distances by smart dimension let's let's see let's see these distances now we click on the ellipse 0.165 yeah this one the distance on the x-axis from the origin is point this is the distance you can compare these values and you can verify these distances okay now the distance in the y direction is 0.16763 this is the distance now let's verify this di these distances okay Sorry, let's delete these previous in order to get a, get a clear view. Now click on the ellipse and verify these, okay? From the upper point, okay? So these are the upper point. The distance from the x axis at this point 3 to 6 is you can compare it, it's, it's the same value. From the y, 0.3 to 8, you can verify them. Similarly, you can verify the value of this point with respect to the origin. And you can see that is point four zero two seven seven and that is point zero seven one nine. So you can verify all the distances, okay? Now let, let's verify the final dimension this one and this one okay now click on the ellipse and you can verify the distance that is 0 0.27000 that is in the x direction 
and 0 0.2000 from the y direction of the center of the ellipse. So you can change these parameters and you can draw the ellipse. I hope this was, this was useful. Now let, let's go further with the parabola and click on it and it requires a dimension. Okay. Now how much you want it? You can make a smiley face out of this comma, I guess. Again, parabola, radius, and from the start from here and it here. Voila. You can make parabola like this. Let's make a full parabola. Start it from here to here. That's it. So in this way, you can make parabola. Okay. Let's go to some of its characteristics. Sorry. Now click on it. Now these are the parameters that you will change for the parabola. So you can change this distance. Okay. You can change all these distances as we previously discussed and you can get your required parabola. Okay. Now we come to the conic. Yeah. This is the conic shape. When you click on it, now this conic command is usually used for tracing geometry okay look you can you can you can play with it and you can make this parabola yeah you can change all these parameters and you can change the shape you can control it okay you can control all these point you can use them in any way you want them so this was all about parabola ellipse ellipse parabola partial ellipse and conics so you can use all these commands in your sketch okay i hope you you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe and share and give us a thumbs up peace out guys